This is La Hamel, a tiny French village that in July 1918 poses a big challenge for the Allies. Occupied by the Germans, it forms a bulge in the Allied lines, dominated by strong points. Eradicating this problem will fall to a man pioneering tactics that will change the face of battle, Australia's General John Monash. We are moving southeast towards La Hamel. German positions stretch through the village. Their headquarters, the Wolfsburg, is on the hill behind. To your right, the innocently named but deadly Pear Trench commands the battlefield. West of the village are the Allied lines. There, Monash, commander of the Australian Corps, gathers his forces. The Aussies will attack with British tank, air, and artillery support, and newly arrived American infantry. The birth of a military union still strong a hundred years later. This is the site of the Wolfsburg, the German headquarters. La Hamel is to your right, and the Allied lines beyond. This battlefield is not the churn mud and static lines often associated with the Western Front. A massive German breakthrough has left those behind, and now the enemy are dug in amongst grassland, crops, woods, and the village itself. In the dark, 7,000 Australians. 800 Americans and 64 tanks get into position. Their noise deliberately masked by artillery and planes harassing the Germans. At 3:10 a.m., the troops are off, smashing into the enemy positions across a front of almost seven kilometers. Resistance is fierce, but up and down the line, Americans and Aussies fight side by side. Taking key points such as this sunken road near Pear Trench, used as a command post by the Germans, as dawn breaks, British tank crews work with the infantry, flattening enemy strongpoints, carrying up supplies while planes drop ammunition to the forward troops. Two Victoria crosses are earned. One of them here at Pear Trench. Private Henry Delzeal rushes a German machine gun nest with just two revolvers and puts it out of action. Although wounded, he ignores orders to get medical treatment until he is hit again and knocked out. Across the field, Lance Corporal Tom Axford carries out a solo bayonet charge into a trench where he kills or captures 16 Germans. He later says of his bravery, "I must have been mad." At the centre of the battle, the village is destroyed. Look around you for photos of the devastation. It was rebuilt entirely afterwards. The bullet-riddled gateposts in front of you are among the few battle scars still visible today. Within 93 minutes, the Australians surge forward two kilometres to take their objectives, culminating here at the Wolfsburg HQ. Today, it is the site of the Australian Corps Memorial. 1,600 enemy surrender. Others flee, leaving their weaponry to the victors. Who immediately prepare to defend the newly won ground? The war will last another four months, but from Hamel on, the Allies have the upper hand. <laughs>